I would advise owners and uh, shareholders to look at HR as business partners. That's something yet is not understood in the market. Uh, the way they look at finance, that they need finance, they need the reports, they need the right talent to make decisions in expansions, in growth, in operation. They need HR. So they, he's a business. they are business partners. They need to be partners in the business decisions. They need to be partners in going forward in the good days and in the bad days. In the good days, you need HR to help you find the right talent, to train the right talent, to compensate the right talent, uh, to serve the right talent as in, is your internal client. The employee is your internal client. And in bad days, also you need the HR to make sure that your policies and procedure does not hurt and impact the employee. At the end of the day, these are employee who have families and who have responsibilities. So the HR is really a business partner in any organization. And that yet to come. Very few institutions in Saudi treat HR as business partners. Is finding the right guy, the right talent, is finding the right talent for the right firm at the right time. You might be able to find a good talent, but he's not ready for that challenge. So he's the right talent when it comes to competencies and personality, but he's not ready for the challenge. Or the company, it's, it's that fit. The fit is not just about knowing what to do. It's timing, it's challenge, it's uh, willingness, it's uh, motivated, and for the senior talent, especially, the compensation side is not always the issue. It's finding the right employer, the right business environment, the right challenge. Is this something they would wish to do for the future or no? And vice versa from the employer side. Can we work with such a talent? Don't forget, this is, these talents are new blood into these organizations and we're talking millions and billions of dollars. So can, can we trust them? Can we work with them? Can we give them the opportunity to do mistakes? Uh, some, not some, the majority are a bit reluctant. They rather work with somebody whom they trust rather than finding somebody new. And that person whom they trust might not be the right person, but he's a trustworthy, loyal. So it's a risk for them to get a new talent on board. And for the new talent on board, it's a risk for him to move from a job to a job. All good talent see movement as a risk and they try to minimize it. That's why they need to do thorough due diligence on the companies. And we help them to do that. And we do vice versa. We do thorough due diligence on the candidates to serve the clients. It needs to be a win-win. We can't look at the interests of our client without being very transparent with the candidates goes both ways. I've been doing business for let's say 18 years. Uh, in search, eight years. Uh, I'm optimistic. I see, uh, I see a bright side. Uh, there is no harm when you build, uh, when, you ref when you build the economy, you won't build it overnight. It takes time. Uh, and again, I will emphasize from an HR point of view, I see that there is a lot of potential with young Saudi male and female. The question is, we need to put our hands together to bring them to the table and train them and, and coach them and take them forward. There is, a, there is a big gap of what can be done and what, what should be done, or what is needed and what is available. And it will only take two hands together to do that because there is hunger for le learning curve here in Saudi Arabia. Uh, there is a big need in the market to educate the Saudi talent, and they are available today. 15, 20, 25 years ago, you would not have these numbers. So basically, you have a problem. Today, you have these numbers on the ground. There is, a, there is hundreds, if not thousands, of talents available on the ground. The question is, bring them, coach them, train them, show them the path for their career. That's not happening. Lots of good students on the ground, but that's not happening. They're not seeing the path. They get jobs without knowing where to go. It's day by day, it's no career plan.